Hi, I'm Mike Borelli. We're back here at Matan Marine. Listen, the guys are real busy out in the shop working on Taylor's boat, but I have a lot to catch up with on getting a few boats wired, one of which is this T-top for our new Pelham Bay uh, flats boat we're doing for a gentleman from Texas. John asked me to talk about a couple of features. I guess he didn't see people do or incorporate into some hard tops that he's seen in the past, and one of which is instead of using canvas or fiberglass, on this particular top, we used a hard top made out of aluminum. That enabled us to put a drainage system in to keep that water, sheathing water, coming and hitting you in the back of the neck, whether it's a morning dew or a late afternoon rainstorm. The water's able to run down the channels, continues along, and drains out on the floor. Another feature that John said, the T-top came back from Patagonia and looked beautiful. And he sees Scotty sitting there sanding it down. I said, John, because we take things to a whole nother level here. Even though it's been zinc chromated uh, and powder coated, we almost use that powder coating as our primer. And we'll actually block it down smooth. And Scotty came in, he laid down, what, three, four beautiful coats of super jet black all grip. And then we went into four additional coats of all grip clear really gives the durability and the overall shine and sheen of paint that you just can't get out of powder coated. We also painted the hard top all grip whisper gray to match both the console and the hull. Well, speaking of metal, let's take a couple of minutes and visit the guys from Shark Eye as they tell us how to take care of our metal and keep it long lasting. <laughs> What you're seeing underneath this heat shrink, okay, the shrink wrap, if you will, is a brand new model for 2019 Matan Classic Collection. And Mike Borelli and his son Joey and Brian Farrell all got together cutting it away. I, I guess you're gonna be rewrapping it and taking it to Texas to the customer. Right after this. But this is all new for 2019. And who we have on the program is again, my best friend, Mike Borelli. And we have Taylor White. And Taylor, Mike and I have been restoring your boat, okay, up at the boat shop up in Boston. And Mike, I want to talk a little bit about the new, this is this is a Pelham Bay 21, but you're calling this the Sport Fish Edition. We've seen a lot of this stuff being constructed over the months that we've been working together. John, the, day, the, that, the day that we were down making Taylor's console at CNC, they were spraying a gel coat in the in the hull mold to this. Fantastic. Well, I want to talk a little bit about this unique T-top. I've never seen anything like it until I went to your place. And uh, apparently, guys, there, there are drains in the top side of this. So if it rains or if there's dew, it goes through the drains and it comes through the pipes and it drains out. It drains out, out on the okay? floor. It doesn't hit you in the back of the neck. Okay, this this is this would be great. We, you know how much rain we get in Florida? Guys, I mean, this would be fantastic down here. But this is set up to fish, okay? And what's so cool about the Matan Classic Collection, guys, is this is like an entire line of classic retro style boats, but are all brand new. And see, Mike has owned Matan Marine Restoration over the past 25 years. Yep. You've torn apart a lot of boats in your career. You, you've, uh, you've seen some very bad construction. You've seen some very awesome construction. You've taken a lot of these ideas and you've integrated it to make one of the finest, and I call it a family heirloom boat, that you could ever get. It's built and to last like a family ta heirloom. Taylor, your, your whaler, okay, this, that was a family heirloom boat, and, and um, who was the first owner in your family with, with that 1982, uh, 17 foot Montauk? Yeah, so it was actually my Nana. Um, she bought it from a woman, and now I own it. So. Okay, well, you know, Mike, I met you earlier in the week in St. Cloud. We were up at uh, Mara Trail. Um, actually seeing the trailer for this boat. Yeah, he knocked it out of the park, John. And we were talking to the owner's son, Scott, and Taylor, they're gonna be making it with the same features and benefits of that trailer. You're gonna love it. They're making okay, a whole it's... line of trailers just for the Matan Classic Collections to mimic the 29. Well, your 17 is very close to our 17, so it'll fit fine. So they're actually using one of our boats to mock up her trailer. Fantastic. Okay, let's talk about how this is set up for fish out front. You have a Minn Kota trolling motor. Minn Kota trolling motor, tied in with the Humminbird. Humminbird is also tied in with the Yamaha. They all communicate together. You can put a whole day's fishing um, plan right on your Humminbird, deploy, hit a button. Only thing you have to worry about is where to put your lure all day, John. 
You, if you come up to a spot and it's hot, you hit anchor. You don't even need to drop your anchor. That'll keep you right on your waypoint. The first thing you gotta do when you're fishing, you're going out early in the morning, or you're coming in maybe later in the day when the sun's coming down after a long day of fishing. I always believe that you have to see what you're doing. So this boat is set up with a series of LED deck lights that light up almost like a Christmas tree. It's almost daylight from the gunnels down in a bright white. Yet, John, if you need some detail, I set the console up and underneath the console in a red LED that shows details at night. So if you ever have to get underneath the console, you never need a good look at any of your electronics. They're illuminated in a red, which is a lot better color to see. Okay, I'm sitting on a beautiful leaning post, nice backrest tailor. 40 gallon think? bait well. 40 gallon uh, live well back here so you guys can fish. There's aft seating. I love the sea deck flooring. I mean, this boat, but the wood on this boat is unbelievable. Who's doing the wood package? And that's what's so cool about them. You know, you can get these matans to where you have the classic lines and everything else, but you also get the, the richness of bright work and everything else. And But we're not gonna hand something off that's not utilitarian either, John. We're not gonna bring back wood to the, wood, to the uh, marine industry and then hand, hand off this huge headache. No, so, no, a lot of guys, um, a lot of guys like the starboard, okay? And you, and you have packages, I mean, if somebody doesn't wanna sure. do the bright work or anything like that, they can have everything that they want in that maintenance-free starboard. Oh, definitely. Okay? Let's talk a little bit more about the center console because Taylor, Mike and I were discussing this exact center console, okay, the height and the width and everything else going into your 17-foot Montauk. How do you like that compared to the very low one that you had originally? I love the high one. It's a lot easier to kind of stay comfortable. Mike, you're using technology to build a stronger, uh, du more durable boat. But, but you start looking beneath just the outer shell and you get into like the detail, what he does, your wiring, Mike. I know you use all pacer group wire or whatever, but guys, you start looking at boats wiring and everything else. He's an artist uh -huh. when it comes to that. That's nice of you to say that, John. Well, no, we put I mean, a lot but, into it. But, but guys, when you're looking to maybe acquire a, a multi-generational family heirloom boat, the Matan Classic Collection is definitely going to be at the top of your list. Where can we lead people? This is the new uh, Sport Fish. Helen Bay Sport Helen Bay 21. Yep. Okay, there, there's another one right over there. That's RSC, okay. John. Uh, guys, okay.